Today is May 30th. On the 30th of May, 70 AD, Roman legions breached the second wall of Jerusalem, forcing Jewish defenders to retreat to the first wall. This event would later be known as the Siege of Jerusalem, who was the future emperor of the Roman Empire at the head of the winning legions. Follow the link in the description of this video to submit your answers and win an amazing prize. Hello and welcome back to Smarter by the Second. Unfortunately, um, Daan Veldhuis couldn't join us. He is in Hilversum talking with Erik Dijkstra to take over his job as the real presenter of Smarter by the Second. But nonetheless, I am here and I'm joined by Hugo. Yes. Hello Hugo, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing, uh, doing great. A bit nervous, but I think... Yeah? Uh, okay, can I you uh, be... maybe introduce yourself? Yeah, my viewers. name is uh, Hugo, as you already told. Um, I'm in my Master's of Mathematics in the OR direction. Okay. Um, some of my hobbies I like running, making running, music, okay. drumming and piano, something like that. Also playing games like chess. Okay. So I, uh, yeah, and I love watching TV shows, so I'm uh, very glad that I could yeah, be yeah. here. But I hear a lot of uh, sort of stuff like watching movies, playing video games. Why did you choose science and not media? No, I don't like uh, playing video games. Oh, okay. Just normal games like oh, chess and okay. over the board games and oh, okay. chess, something like that. But not uh, not that many online games. Oh, okay, but I okay. do like watching movies, of course. Yeah, but why? I think in the in the media you also have to do some music, and it can be really hard sometimes. Oh, okay, but for science you know everything. No, but oh, okay. something. So I I'm, I'm I'm hoping it will go well. We'll okay. see. Yeah. Well. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, this is the first round. Let's hope that you do well and you don't have to leave us yet. And that's what this round is all about. Leaves. And here are nine trees. So on the screen you will see the names of nine trees and mm -hmm. then a picture will appear of the leaf and you will have to guess to what tree that leaf belongs. Okay. Do you think you'll do well? Are you into I, biology? I, I don't know. We'll see. This is not my, my best part, but we'll Okay, but we'll uh, you only have to have five correct, yes. and you have three lifelines. Okay. Okay, so the trees are birch, chestnut, pine tree, elm, spruce, willow, beech, poplar, and oak. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's begin. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Okay, this is oak. This is birch. Uh, elm, maybe. Uh, oh my God. What's this called? Uh, beach? I don't know. Chestnut. Okay, let's do beach here. Why I said beach, maybe willow. Okay. Oh no, wait, this was poplar, I think. I'm so sorry. I'm yeah, you so can confused. always change your answers. Uh, let's do beach here. Uh, pine tree. Spruce. Stop the time? Yeah, let's stop. Okay. Okay, this was very hard for me. Yeah, you only uh, need five correct. Okay. Do you want to use a lifeline? Let's see, I think birch is maybe correct. Pine tree, spruce, willow, oak. Okay, I think I can be just be there, maybe. Okay, so let's, let's see. You, you, you think you have five correct answers? Okay, well, let's check. So this was indeed the oak, and then this one was the beech. I think you got that one oh, wrong. No. Uh, so and this was the birch. Uh, you had this one correct, I believe. You swapped it around. This is the willow, mm -hmm. and you knew this one, the chestnut. Then this was the poplar. 
Oh, you that one correct. And then here is the elm. Then you had the pine tree for this one. Then this is pine tree. And then lastly, you had the spruce. Okay, I'm so very glad. Six right. Well, that's pretty glad. good. Yeah, but I, I somehow I confused birds, which I, which I thought was one ah, of the, it's the, the, the it's sure a hard answers. round, though. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, you did well. I'm happy. I'm and happy. you survived your first round. Yes, okay. Okay, you can be proud of that. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Ever since humans inhabited the earth, we have always wondered why things are the way that they are. This curiosity, or love for wisdom, is what inspired us to philosophize about nature, human behavior, and many other themes. The philosophers with the most groundbreaking ideas, even thousands of years ago, are still known all over the world to this day. They change the way that we view the world and inspire us to be critical and stay curious. Here are nine of the most famous philosophers. So you will see the names of the philosophers. Mm -hmm. And I will give you a, a description of what they did and what their ideas were, and you will okay. also see a picture of them. Yes. So you say you did Latin, right? No, did also? I, I did ancient Greek, but I, I think oh, okay, this so will also be quite hard for you me. Do you know some uh, philosophers? You uh, know some we'll Greek we'll ones? see. No, not really. I'm not really into oh, philosophy. Ah, we'll see. Okay, but these are really famous people. Yeah, I think so. so. And I know some of them at least by name, so... Yeah, okay, so the philosophers in question are Immanuel Kant, Machiavelli, Sigmund Freud, Voltaire, Pla Plato, Baruch Spinoza, Th Thales of Miletus, Confucius and Friedrich Nietzsche. Mm -hmm. Okay, shall we start the round? Yeah, I think we have to. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the first one. He was a pupil to Socrates. Yeah, Plato. Okay. He was a Dutch philosopher of Portuguese Jewish origin, one of the most foremost exponents uh, of the 17th century rationalism. Spinoza. Okay. This philosopher is best known for his work, The Prince. He has often been called the father of modern political philosophy and political science. His most famous statement is, the ends justify the means. Um, uh, Machiavelli. Okay. He was an Austrian neu neurologist and the founder of Freud? psycho. Okay. He was one of the most important figures within the Enlightenment period. He advocated for freedom of religion and speech. And Voltaire. This unlucky philosopher happens to be associated with Adolf Hitler for his theory called the Übermensch. Nietzsche. He was a Chinese philosopher and politician of the spring and autumn period. Confucius. <laughs> this philosopher is recognized for breaking free from the use of mythology. Thales of Miletus. He is the central figure in modern philosophy. He synthesized early modern rationalism and empiricism. Kant, stop the time. Okay. How do you feel about this? <sighs> it could be very well or it could be very bad because... Yeah, I understand, yeah, I understand this. Mm. But, uh, do you want to use a lifeline? Let's see, I think this one is correct, that one probably too. Oh, you can take your time thinking about it. Um, ah, you have three lifelines. Eh? Yes, one. I know. So sorry, maybe do one lifeline. Okay, I'm one lifeline? Sure. Yeah. Okay, we can arrange for that. And you want to see the answers? Yes. Okay. So, he was a pupil to Socrates. He is most known for saying that all humans are imprisoned in a cave, watching our lives go by. It is our job to free ourselves from our shackles and seek out the real truth. And this was Plato. Yes. And he was a Dutch philosopher of Portuguese Jewish origin, one of the foremost exponents of the 17th century, century rationalism and one of the early and seminal thinkers of the Enlightenment and modern biblical criticism. This was Baruch Spinoza. Mm -hmm. so that one correct, I think. And this philosopher is best known for his work, The Prince. He has often been called the father of modern political philosophy and political science. His most famous statement is, the ends justify the means, and this was Machiavelli. Oh, I've never seen a picture of him. Oh, it's so quite, uh, I was so quite famous. Yeah, uh, he is famous, but I've never seen this picture. Yeah. The, 
Yeah. yeah. I didn't recognize him. Um, he was an Austrian neurologist and the founder of psychoanalysis. He is well known for his ideas about how sexuality develops in children. This led to the term Oedipus complex. This is Sigmund Freud. Mm -hmm. He was one of the most important figures within the Enlightenment period. He had advocated for freedom of religion and speech and heavily criticized religion, mostly Christianity. He said that the people who practice religion rise from an incestuous bed, manufacture a hundred versions of God, and then eat and drink God, and then piss and shit God. <laughs> this uh, beautiful statement was made by Voltaire. Mm -hmm. So you have that one correct. You have five now. And then this unlucky philosopher happens to be associated with Adolf Hitler for his theory called the Übermensch, which was gravely misinterpreted. Mm -hmm. uh, he is most famous for his nihilistic statement, God is dead, Friedrich Nietzsche, mm -hmm. of course. So... You already have six correct yeah, answers. I, I yeah. think I have... Okay. Ah, it doesn't, ma doesn't yeah. matter that much. Okay. He was a Chinese philosopher and politician of the spring and autumn period who was traditionally considered the paragon of the Chinese sages. His teachings and philosophy underpin East Asian culture and society, remaining influential across China and East Asia. This is Confucius. This philosopher is recognized for breaking free from the use of mythology to explain the world and the universe, instead explaining natural objects and phenomena by offering naturalistic theories. This was Thales of Miletus. And then, of course, you have the last one correct as well. He is the central figure in modern philosophy. He synthesized early modern rationalism and empiricism set the terms for much of the 19th and 20th century philosophy and continues to exercise a significant influence today in metaphysics. This was Immanuel Kant. Yeah. You had every, every answer yeah, correct. I, I figured there was like a 50% chance yeah. that I, have, I had everything correct, but there was also a chance <laughs> that I just totally messed up somehow, so I was right. scared. But the, I thought it was, this was a hard round. Uh, you surprised me. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah okay. But uh, since you have nine correct, it means you get an extra lifeline. So yes. you still have three lifelines. Yeah, but I won't get my second spec. So. No, that is so the, sad. Nah. Let's well, go. you have you have like half your second. Yeah, yeah, I know. So uh, still feeling confident uh, to win. Sure. This? Yeah. I'm gaining confidence as we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can feel it. I can <laughs> sense it. Our study association, as you may or may not know, is named after a well-known and still often used mathematical instrument, the abacus. There is, though, far more scientific equipment necessary in order to support all scientific disciplines. Here are nine pieces of equipment that may be found in a chemical laboratory. So you have the names of these equipments you probably used in high school. Mm -hmm. You may recognize them, and then you will see a picture of said equipment, and you have to match the right answer yes. with the right picture. Are you into chemistry? Uh, no. But you did chemistry in high school? Yes. So you also and we had to also learn these things yeah, again. Like the, the tritation where you had to with the yes, pitches, yes. yeah. Ah, Such fun. I hated, and you <laughs> had to clean it three times every yeah, time, yeah. Of course. So the the chemical laboratory instruments are the Bunsen burner, the Erlenmeyer flask, the beakers, the graduated cylinder, the pipette, the volumetric flask, the water bottle, no, the wash bottle, the test tube, and the buree. Okay. So, let's start the round yes, then. Yes, let's okay. go. Then we'll, you'll see the pictures now. <laughs> uh... Wash bottle. I don't know. Uh, pipette. Maybe. This is Erlenmeyer. Bunsen burner. Uh, oh, jeez. Ah, you did have to use this in high school. Uh. Yes. <laughs> but I, I don't know what. You can also maybe, skip. Maybe this is. Uh, pipette, maybe. Oh, no, maybe burette, sorry. Okay. Uh, this looks like a beaker. This is a beaker. The other one, volumetric flask. This looks like a uh, test tube. Oh 
Uh, maybe do volumetric flask here and the other one graduated cylinder stop the time. Yeah, okay. Yes, okay. That was terrible. Terrible? Yes. Well, how come? I don't know. I'm not I'm not sensing your confidence anymore. No, because this Left. was this was terrible. This was terrible? Yes. This went very bad. So I think <laughs> you want to use lifeline. Yes. You need seven correct answers. Yes, I know. So that's kind of bad. I'm guessing I have one, two, three, four. Hmm. Let's just guess I have five correct. Um and then you want to use two lifelines? Yes. Oh wait, maybe if I can do the last round at all, then I yeah, if I use two lifelines then I don't have any seconds left at all, right? So that is true. So, uh, you can think about it. Maybe you have seven correct. Yeah, let's. Yeah, but I don't. Uh, um. Okay, this one, this one, this one. Okay, you know what? We can just guess because it's, uh, guess? it's nice to play the fourth round. Yeah, just no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just let's just see it. Okay, then well, let's check the answers. Otherwise, I will well. be sad if yeah. I can't <laughs> play the fourth round. Okay, so this was the wash bottle. Uh, you had that one correct. You had the pipette here. I think I. Yeah, and then the Erlenmeyer flask. Mm -hmm. This one. Now we see the Bunsen burner. Mm -hmm. Then we have, this is the Bure, yeah. Oh, yes. I, I didn't remember the name, but I remember we had to use yeah, it for Yeah, me chemistry. too, but I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, I think it's maybe called different in Dutch, maybe. Yeah, the titratie. Yes, yeah, exactly. That's true. Okay, this was the volumetric flask. Oh, I think one. you swapped it oh, around somewhere. Yes. Yeah, this was the beaker. Mm -hmm. Did you have, oh, and then we had the test tubes yes. here, of course. And then the gra graduated cylinders. Yeah, this one I have never heard. But anymore. you had seven correct. Yeah, it's a little um, wonder. Well, so you uh, survived three rounds. Yes. If you go for the fourth round, you go all in. So you give up your second prize. Yeah, let's do it, right? Let's do it. Of course. Okay. Ah, your uh, confidence otherwise I is wouldn't back. No, but otherwise I wouldn't have guessed that I had the third round that's correct, true, right? That's true. Maybe. You, uh, otherwise I yeah, could yeah. have just used my lifelines, but let's just see. I want to see the fourth question. So. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. You're very curious. Yes. Yes. Okay. While our national animal is the lion, no lions actually exist in the wild in the Netherlands, but we do have lots of other nice animals in this country. Here are nine animals that currently live in the wild in the Netherlands. <coughs> so I think you will see the names of the animals that live here. And then a picture will appear of the animal. Well, no, no description again. Oh, no. Are you, <laughs> you like animals? Y yes, but this will be very hard. Yeah. Do you have a favorite animal? No. No favorite animal? No. A uh, weird guy. Sorry. No, no, it doesn't matter. Shall we just start? Uh, as a kid, I liked lions and, and tigers. Ah, okay. but I mean, right we now. We have them in the zoo here. Yeah, but I, I don't really like zoos that much, but okay. Oh, okay. I feel Why kind not? of sad for the animals, right? Ah, that's true. Yeah, okay, I get that. But have you ever gone on a safari or. No, uh, no, no. No. Only no. in the zoo. You want safari. to go on a safari? Maybe. maybe you maybe. can see lions in yes, Africa. Sure, that that's would be pretty amazing. sick, right? Yes, it's pretty sick. Okay, so the animals are the pine marten, the magpie, the blue tit, the house sparrow, the beaver, the ermine, the jay, the peregrine falcon, and the buzzard. Okay. You want to start? Yes, I think I have to go for speed so that I can use my lifelines here. <laughs> That's true, you need uh, six correct. <laughs> yeah. You can. No, nine, right? Yeah, but if you use your lifelines. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, well, okay. let's start then. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, beaver, a uh, blue tit, a uh, magpie. Uh, I can't see this at all. A uh, J, maybe. The, the images are very small. Oh, okay. Pine marten. Uh, what is this? Ermine. Uh, this looks like um, peregrine falcon. Bus no. Ah. You can switch if you want, but... Uh, this is maybe Peregrine Falcon, the other one Buzzard. Okay. Uh, House Sparrow, stop the time. Yeah? Yeah, now use two lifelines, but I don't think I'm there. You want to use two lifelines? Yeah, I can't use three. No, that's true. 
Uh, you can also use zero and... Uh, no, 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 I don't have everything correct at all. Okay, okay. <laughs> then uh, let's see the answers. I'm just hoping I have the falcon. Okay, so this is the beaver, easy yes. animal. You got that one correct. The blue tit, yes. of course, is blue, so it's easy. Then the magpie, mm -hmm. yeah. That one correct. The J. This oh, one wasn't know. very clear, but you got it correct anyway. And now you have the pine martin here. The brown one is the pine martin, and the white one is the ermine. And mm -hmm. you guessed them correctly both, so that's pretty good. Then we have the buzzard. And you yeah, yeah, you switched it. them. Oh, yeah, I was yeah, so you swapped them. So I, I, this is I, the peregrine yes. falcon. Oh, I was so confused. And then lastly, the house sparrow. Ah, nice. Okay, this went great too. So yeah, you. Early. Congratulations! Yeah, thank you. On winning every round. Yeah. Right, we have a participation prize for you already, and you also will win another prize, but you will get that later. Yeah. But here is your very nice. Very nice. Clock. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us. Today. Yeah. I liked it. Okay. Well, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Smarter by the Second. The today's answer of the question was. Titus Caesar Vespasianus. Uh, the winner will get a prize and it's on its way now.